Good morning. Today is Tuesday, May the 16th. We are about eight minutes to noon and uh, let's do a bit of recap as to what the New York market actually did overnight. We can see that uh, as far as equities are concerned, we can see that the Dow Jones is basically uh, basing itself. Uh, the market has stopped going down. Uh, as far as you're concerned, the low was traded last Friday at 33,110. And uh, we did not see the market challenging this level overnight. And uh, I think the market is getting ready for another rally or rather an extension of the rebound from 33,000. Okay. So tonight we have the release of the retail sales. Uh, market expecting a rebound uh, back to positive territory of 0 0.7 compared to the much uh, number of negative 1%. So this is def def definitely a market in anticipation of good news. And if that's the case, the market will have the excuse to actually uh, extend higher. And uh, to so much so that I think the uh, market may be looking to actually test the year high so far. Uh, we have the month high so far at 34,257 which is not very far away from the year high at 34,342, which is over here. And we can see if this, this level will be the first barrier to higher prices. Let's see whether the market can, uh, can overcome this barrier. If it can, then of course the market will have reason to go even higher. And the target is likely to be somewhere between 34,800 to 35,200 levels. Okay, so this is my immediate target if the market continues to take out all these barriers that we are seeing ahead of us. In the S&P 500, we also see that the market is based itself the low traded on friday last friday was actually at 4099 and uh, this is within the bracket of prices which i think will actually uh, see the emergence of uh, buying interest and if that's the case uh, assuming the retail sales number is positive and the market may actually use this to actually propel higher uh, the main high so far is at 4186.9 and this is not far away from the february high at 4195 if the market do blow beyond, uh, do 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 actually rally beyond these levels here. The the market could be gearing towards the four thousand two forty to two thousand three forty. So between this one hundred point uh, range, I think the market may possibly see a top. Okay, so be very very careful chasing this market ever higher. For those who are doing scalping day trades, I think these are uh, currently this market may be giving us a uh, very positive outlook for time being okay over in the nasdaq 100 we can see the nasdaq continue to charge higher on friday we can see market have a new marginal high at 13,427.4 and uh Obviously, if the market continues to edge higher today, uh, the first barrier to higher prices will be the last August high of 13,720. Beyond this level, the market could be targeting somewhere between 14,135 to 14,712. So this could be an area of uh, 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 where, where the ultimate terminal uh, uh, target is going to be okay from here onwards it's going to get is exceedingly dangerous to continue to hold long okay just be very very careful now over in asia we can see that the uh, the hang Seng, uh, has a very positive run yesterday we talked about the possibility that the last uh, last month's low at the uh, near 19,500 may actually be the first level of uh, uh, support the market have uh, so far a triple bottom here so we can see market actually rallied from here extending to this morning straight now based on the current momentum the market will be actually targeting 20,300 to 20,500 levels so watch out and see whether the market can actually overcome this barrier even if it can the next barrier is not that far away at 20,800 to 21,100 so again there are many many levels in which it must overcome for it to break out of this current uh, uh, sideways uh, kind of uh, trading range okay over in the Nikkei we can see that the Nikkei again is charging into a new high for the year at just under 30,000 now this bracket is becoming very very dangerous as far as I'm concerned okay 29,700 to 30,430 is going to be the danger period uh there is every possibility market may actually top up somewhere around here uh, so for those who have not already bought this is definitely not the place to buy and just be very very careful okay over in the mainland index this morning we have the release of china retail sales it's, uh, it came in under market expectation, but if you have looked at what 
the number is the number was 18.4 percent which is a marvelously uh, positive number this is the highest we have ever seen since uh, 2022 so we can say that this is definitely a shot in the arm for chinese equity but the reaction so far has been very muted we don't see the rally that we've seen in the hang seng index so not sure what is why that is the case okay uh but let's say the market can extend higher immediate barrier, uh, barrier will be at 4,076 to 4,117. So this is a barrier in which it must conquer. Over in energy market, we can see that the West Texas intermediate crude oil continue to slide. And then yesterday we have a rebound from $69.39. So short term, I think this rally may not sustain. It may come back down again. And if it does, that will present a buying opportunity in my opinion. $67.50 to $68.72 will be an area that is going to be very attractive for buying so let's see if the market can actually slide back down into this bracket of prices to present a buying opportunity at the bare minimum the target will be to try to take out the month high so far at 76 dollars and seven cents and if this barrier can be overtaken the obvious level will be the month uh the uh last month high at uh $83.49, which is just marginally above December high of $83.32. So basically, I think that this is more likely the target. Okay, so if you can buy somewhere below, let's say $69, it actually makes a lot of sense. Okay, over in gold market, gold has been uh, sidelining. We have seen the market hold out at $2,000. With the most recent low here on Friday at $2,001 and the market could be continue to sideline if not drop uh, there's always the possibility the market may actually rally again but if it cannot go beyond $2,050 then it may actually slide back again I think this scenario is actually quite great either the market immediately drop or if it bounce up here cannot clear the $20,050 it may come back down again uh, the target range is somewhere between 1,943 to 1,976. So do watch out for this possibility. Over in silver market, it was hardly uh, any movement overnight. You can see that the market dropped to $23.74 uh, on Friday. And we see a bit of a profit taking. So if this profit taking can actually see price uh, climb marginally uh, beyond yesterday's trading range, I think the immediate top will be $24.25 to $24.58. This will be a great level to see if the market can be kept here. And if it does, then the market may slide back to $23 to $23.70. Okay. Over in currency, we can see that the dollar index uh, having uh, rallied strongly to 102.59 overnight uh in asia trading this this higher is actually traded in asia uh yesterday and the market seems to be coming back down so if based on what we see so far over the last 24 hours we, it may appear that the dollar index may have picked at 102.59 so if this is the case uh since it cannot overtake the last month high at 102.75 the market may be trading uh testing the lower end Okay, now the month high so far is a 152 with the last month high at 142. So this will be a great level for the market to aim for. Try the upper end, cannot clear it, try the lower end. Maybe it, something will happen. So we will see what happens. Okay, over in Sterling, we can see Sterling uh, also rebounded from the Friday's low, uh, sorry, the over yesterday's low at 124.43 and this rebound may extend a little bit higher to 125.60 to 125.90 levels this will be a great level to see if you can see some sell signal here and if it does the market may retest this level one more time and perhaps even take out the month low so far at 124.35 okay over in the aussie market we can say aussie is also mimicking what we are seeing in sterling and uh, Aussie has rebounded from 0.6636 all the way to the high here at uh, 0 0.6710. And uh, maybe it can even extend higher to 0 0.6730 to 0 0.6750. That would be a great level to see if we can see some kind of sell, selling interest and for the market to go back down to retest the 0 0.6635. Over in Euro dollar, there's hardly any rebound. You can see the market has been falling from one almost 111 all the way to 108 and then we have a bit of a rebound but the rebound so far is very very shallow uh not sure what to make of this if the market is can only rebound so shallow that means it is inherently weak so uh selling will be a better option than buying so but you got to choose your level i think 
uh, right now it may look a little bit far-fetched but if the market can somehow go back to 110 it will be a better level to sell uh, because at the bare minimum uh, we want to see the market testing the April low so far at 107.90 okay dollar yen looks like a better bet dollar yen is currently in the place where I think it may be one a sell right now okay uh, the market has rebound uh, to 136.32 overnight and uh, it has been consolidating and this is an area very very interesting because this is uh, exactly a hundred percent uh, three wave rally uh, and it has been caught between this barrier of prices just uh, under 136.20 okay so you can see the high trade rate of 136.32 not that far away and the market has since pulled back but on a close to close basis this is exactly where the market has actually done okay if I show you the close on close you will notice that the market is actually at a 50% point okay so this is actually quite conducive to sell so let's see whether it is the case here so if the market actually unravel from here the first target will be 133 and if this level cannot hold the market may go all the way to test the 129.65 okay so it has a lot of potential from the current level itself dollar CAC itself dollar CAC is also looking very impressive the market rebound and uh, probably have been kept at 135.70 prices is getting ready to unravel to retest the 133 levels okay over in bitcoin we have a rebound from the saturday's low at 28, $25,800 and this market has actually rebound back to uh, above $20,000 at the current level it is at $27,140 level so it looks good for an extension of the rally possibly to test the $30,000 level so I think that would be the bare minimum okay so this is all I have for you for today now do watch out tonight we have retail sales be safe and I'll see you back tomorrow bye bye